I'm working on the lighting for the uh, engines. The kit already has like a little small wall here. This is where the part that comes with the kit goes. What I've done is with some uh, strip styrene, I have built the, the wall higher. So it'll be the same height as the grill piece. I've also put in strip styrene down here because this there's, there's quite a gap in here <clears throat> and I wanted the containment of the light to be as small as possible so that it makes more light come out. The smaller the containment of the light the brighter the light's going to be. So now what I can do is I have two strips of uh, LED lights these are from LED warehouse. I bought them like three years ago. I'm, I'm trying to use up that that spool. I'll put a link in the description. These have uh, adhesive backs, so I will cut a separate piece of styrene, and I will stick these to that and secure them, and then I'll wire them up so it'll be one piece. Then I can take that one piece. And I'll be able to glue it to this back wall. With these two strips of LEDs, it'll mimic the engine nozzles in the grill piece here. So once that's done, then I'll be able to put my grill piece in here. And then I'll have to go in with some more styrene and close off this end at both ends. And then I'll be able to close off the top so that the light is completely contained within a box. And I won't have to worry about any light leaking or anything like that. Because there are some gaps throughout the kit that you would be able to see lights coming through. So to save me some time doing all that, I'm just going to contain the light within a box. And it should be bright enough. I'm still going to have to figure out a diffusion. I do have some blue uh, gel theater gel which is for the spotlights in theaters so I may try that and see how that works uh, cut a strip of that to put on the back of the the grill piece here and of course you know sand it down so that it's uh, so it's not you know just completely clear so the light will diffuse through it and hopefully that'll give me the blue tint that you see in the engines and the lights will be bright enough to show white also so I'm going to work on that and then I'll come back. Taking the two LED strips and I put it on a strip of styrene. What I did do first is I drilled a hole in the negative and the negative and then drilled a larger hole in the back. Since this lip overhangs I don't have to do that here. And then the main holes are drilled in there so that when I glue this down in here because I have corresponding holes in this wall is I can glue it in there and then I can bring the wires in from the back and solder them on the front so I'll have uh, connect the positives for the two here and then the negatives over here so that the positive and negative aren't close enough to each other to affect each other. Doesn't matter where you solder on the strip, it's still going to light the entire strip. So what I need to do now is I need to go ahead and glue this in and then I'll have to take it out to the garage and solder it. So I'm going to do all that and then I'll come back and we'll see if it works. Alright, everything's soldered now. The, the uh, two wires at this end and then two main wires at this end. I also uh, secured them in certain spots here, drilled another hole to feed it through here so I, I like to keep my wire work uh, tidy. So now that everything's soldered, let me, uh, I'll turn this overhead light off and then what we can do is turn it on and see if it works. All right. 
There we go. Now we have lights. I'm thinking this is going to be bright enough. I'm not sure yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, work on some sort of diffusion to be able to put on to the back of the, uh, the grill piece here, the engine grill piece. So it'll knock some of that back and hopefully it should get the effect I'm looking for which is something similar to what you saw in The Force Awakens. So I'm going to work on that and then I'll come back. Okay, I've completely changed everything. This is either a classic case of overthinking something or not thinking things through enough. <clears throat> anyway, this is where the original um, LED strips were at, this back panel. I moved it up to the next panel did the same thing that I did with the first one. I also uh, upgraded from the 9 volt to a rechargeable 12 volt. This is a 4800 milliamp. I got it off of eBay. I will put a link in the description. So I'll be able to recharge it and it already has an on off switch. So the lights are a whole lot brighter. It's, it's amazing what four more volts will do for you. But it's a lot brighter. It looks a lot better. I did try to make it look the way I wanted using these exhaust pieces that go in the grill but I did not like it at all so I need to still get a diffusion for this <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is I found these uh, report covers for school and stuff and you can always get these in different colors but the plastic is usually clear but I found one that's kind of frosted, so it's already diffused. So all I need to do is just cut a strip to be able to put in the back of this grill here, and that should work for that. I also need to remove some of this back here in order to make a place for this to sit in so that it doesn't wiggle around or anything. Because if I ever have to remove it, I want to be able to remove it as easily as possible. Plus, there's the whole charging aspect of it. So, I will work on that, and then I will be back. And I've removed all of that stuff here for the original battery box. So now, this one will fit in here. Made a space down here for this cord to sit in. Now this is just pre lamb I'll, I'll do some more stuff to make it a little bit more secure, but I wanted to make sure I had the height correct. All right, so that can hide in there, and it'll come on and off perfectly. So what I'll do now is I'm going to take the uh, take the top and put it together, and I'll show you what the light looks like. All right, engine lights. Yeah, I think this is going to work. It's going to work just fine. Obviously nothing's glued because I still have to uh, do some weathering inside these lips here. You know, some scorch marks and stuff like that. But I believe this is the route to go. So, for part 7, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing the photo etch that comes with the kit. There are the six grill pieces for these exhaust vents. And then there's three that go here. And then of course the one that goes around the side of the cockpit. So I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you for part seven.